not like I was a fan of Game of Thrones or anything. It's beginning to look a lot like winter. Who the hell is he talking about? Am I gonna have a soft DNF every week? Probably. If an audiobook doesn't accompany it, I might not read it. <laughs> Where was I going with this? It's very Afrikaans. Guten Morgen, meine Liebchen. How are you on this Monday? It is quite gloomy outside. And um, I just want to stay in bed and read. So if the light flickers, I do apologize about that. It's just gloomy as hell. So welcome back <laughs> to the readathon. For those of you who aren't sure what this readathon is about, it is basically like an RPG, a casual RPG game where you create a character and you go to a magical world where you study. I think there's like 24 courses. I have the Wildform Druid course, which I'm currently taking place. Well, my character. And this just means that my character feels one with nature. My character has a true form, which I have chosen as a wolf. That's what they're studying for their course of the year. I think it's four years. So for the spring equinox, we have a few prompts that we need to read. I finished last week's, which I will link up here. But for this week, if you watched last week's, you would see I landed on a spinner wheel challenge. I will just put a clip in here of how or when I spun it. So... The books that I still need to read is House of Ash and Shadow, Valkyrie Landing, um, a book that will cure a reading slump, which is for restoration. Yeah. So we are going to spin the wheel and we're going to see where we land. Okay, cool. Let's spin the wheel. I knew that was going to happen. And naturally, I landed on Game of Thrones. I wasn't really in the mood for this one. I'm a big mood reader. So that's why I usually struggle with creating TBRs for the next month because I know halfway around the month I'm just going to be like, I'm not in the mood for these, so I'm just going to choose something else. But you know, it's set. I have to read it. And so I am reading an over 700 page book for this week. I'll probably read something else as well. But for now, I don't know what the next ones are. I don't know. So we're gonna see I do have the audio for this one So I'm hoping to fly through this maybe in the next two days. We shall see. I hope you guys enjoy it and Let's just jump right into Hopefully what is going to be a cozy reading vlog I think I'm gonna need to make coffee because I have a lot of meetings that I have to get through now but let's just go make coffee and read a bit Not done any reading whatsoever it is now 22 to 22 to <laughs> i am finally gonna sit and read for a bit while my video renders and i'm going to edit said video because for some apparent reason i wanted to edit this video over the weekend and then i just did so anyway <laughs> my wrist is so sore so i'm gonna start with the game of thrones Hopefully, I'm not too bored. I, I want to be back in this world, but at the same time, I'm like, I remember what's happening, so do I really want to? We'll just have to see. We'll just, we'll just have to see. I love a book with some maps in it. It's, it's awesome. Okay, anyway, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> I think you two would be happy if you have been sitting for about a week without the sun. So, anyway, I am currently on chapter 8 of Game of Thrones, um, page 72. And, I don't know, I think this is the third time I'm rereading it. I don't know what else to say. I'm enjoying the world building, but at the same time I'm like, okay. <laughs> Like, I know what's going to happen, so I don't know why I put this on my list at all. But, you know, we're going through the motions. It is on my 24 books to read for 2024, so the faster I can get through this, the better. I don't know if I'm going to focus the whole time on this for this week. 
and then move to another book later this week. Hopefully I can finish this by Wednesday, but for now I'm going to go make some food because I'm hungry. And then I'm just going to chill and wait for my video to continue rendering because it's it's going to take an hour, so yay for me. Okay, anyway, and then it's probably going to take two hours to upload, so <laughs> I should really edit the thing over the weekends. But anyway, let me go get some food, get something to drink, and just chill for the rest of the evening hey everyone happy tuesday don't ask me what's happening to my hair i am just going with the flow today okay so i don't know what chapter i'm on but i'm there where Catelyn told ned about the assassination attempt on bran yeah it's bran wow. <laughs> Not like I was a fan of Game of Thrones or anything. Yeah, I'm making quite a ways into it. Um, currently 200 pages in. Um, so I'll probably read a bit more later because I need to fix my uh, my cupboard. It's beginning to look a lot like winter. And winter is coming. Because my cupboard is so small, I need to rearrange where I put my summer clothes and where this, the winter clothes go. And I'm not happy about the fact that winter is here, but hey it is what it is seasons have to come and go so that is basically just the plans for the rest of the day is me reading and fixing my cupboard the contents in my cupboard if i keep on saying fixing my cupboard it sounds like i'm gonna go <laughs> i don't know fix the door or something so yeah um i don't have much to say about this book if you're familiar with the series then you would know it is just a lot of world building it is basically getting to know the characters, getting to know who you want to trust, not, well, want to trust, but who you feel you can trust, and the attachments you grow towards the characters. There was this one point where Ned Stark was talking about a war, and Catelyn freaked out, and he's like, it won't come to that, and I'm just like, my sweet summer child, no, it will. <laughs> Uh, probably because we are all aware of what happens if you've watched Game of Thrones. I must say, what struck me was the fact that Khal Drogo is a bit more sensitive in the books than he is in the movies. Like when Daenerys and the Khal got married, he he was a bit rough with her, you know? And in the books, he when she cried just before they consummated the marriage, he tried to cheer her up in... A way that he possibly thinks he can and you know he was sweet with her he took his time with her and in the movie it was just going for it <laughs> in the movie in the in the series i think that's why a lot of people also like Cole drogo because even though he was he wasn't portrayed as the sweet guy in front of daenerys from the beginning um, he did become that kind of person. He was always lovable towards her. And yeah, I'm just enjoying the narrative. I'm hoping I can get to maybe 400 pages today while I'm busy. And then just finish the rest tomorrow. I'm also getting The Familiar by Libo Dugo tomorrow. So hopefully <laughs> if they drop it off today, I'll be very happy as well. I think I'm going to read another book alongside this one because <sighs> there's really not a lot to say about this book like <laughs> everyone knows what this is about and if you are one of those few people who haven't watched the show or haven't read the book then this really doesn't appeal to you i think i'm gonna spin the wheel again to see what other book i can read uh for the readathon my whatsapp is so busy this morning okay i'm just gonna remove game of thrones because we're we're reading that right now i can't see man still can't see thank you right so we've got house of ash and shadow valkyrie landing reading slump book and the vanishing hall i'm very scared okay let's tap to spin i don't want to look oh, okay <laughs> okay 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 interessant cool <laughs> I just had like a brain fart moment. Hello everyone, long time no chat. I have an update on a game of thrones. <coughs> Okay, <coughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, 
Let me just see where I am. I'm on page 372 of A Game of Thrones. I'm just there where Ned gets betrayed by Littlefinger. It's kind of weird listening to the audiobook because every time the narrator is like, it's Pitar. <laughs> I think we know him as Little, little Peter. Peter. But Littlefinger and they keep calling him or the guy keeps calling him Batal and I'm just like okay I think there was like a hundred pages where I was just like who the hell is he talking about uh, even though I know the story I was just like I, I don't recall this character anyway so I'm quite enjoying it I was actually upset when the spin the wheel chose this because I uh, yeah I did put it on my TBR but at the same time I was like I'm really not in the mood for this so the only thing I can say that always upsets me is Eddard Stark's character progression. If you haven't read the book or watched the show, you know, I don't want to give away spoilers, but just that whole thing. Like, I keep thinking, what if he just listened to the other people? What would happen? You know, would it be better for him? And I know that's probably not how the trajectory goes of things, but it was just, it's always just upsetting to read these parts where he could have chose i won't say the right choice but he could just have i don't know changed fate somehow and he didn't <laughs> so it also paints the picture of is it right to always do what is right even though i don't know you will face trials and tribulations who knows who knows but i'm hoping to finish this today i am planning on going to the gym later and then just see where the rest of the day takes it. Hello everyone. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm just doing a quick check-in to let you know. I finished A Game of Thrones uh, this afternoon, actually, not this morning. And I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy the intricate character building and the world building and, you know, all that jazz. I think I maybe would have enjoyed it more if I haven't seen the show first. But it's still good writing. It's still captivating. And um, after I finished it, I was like, maybe I should jump to the second book. But alas, I decided to put it down. So yeah, I don't think there's a lot I have to say about this book. Okay, so because I know kind of what it is about, I'm just going to read the back of it. So it says, Stella and Desiree are identical twins growing up together in a small southern black community until at age 16 they run away. Oh, <laughs> This is not what I expected. Years later, everything about their lives are different, their families, communities, and racial identities. One sister lives with her black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape. The other sister secretly passes as white, and her husband knows nothing of her past. Still separated by many miles and just as many lies, the fates of the twins remained intertwined. What will happen in the next generation when their own daughter's storyline enters? What? <laughs> I'm so confused with this book. I thought it was about two sisters, obviously identical twins, that got separated at birth and then they learned about each other. I'm sure there's a, there's a book about that as well. Or well, I could be wrong. Anyway, so this really sounds interesting. It's Tuesday today. How many pages are here? This is for the prompt astronomy, where the course focus is constellation three. I'm guessing 30 on constellation. And this is a zodiac recommendation that I got from Penguin Books. Uh, and it, because I'm a Gemini, uh, if you haven't seen my April TBR, <laughs> forgot what it's called. And I think it's also fitting because it's twins, you know, Gemini's twins. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to see if I can find the audiobook for it. Because I know it's not on Everend. So I'll see where else I can find this. And if I can't find it, I'll just read it physically. I'm going to put this down for this week. It's still on my TBR because... There's no other way I can put like a Gemini. Well, I can go look up again what other books, you know, we want to read. It's not that it's a bad book. It's just that for now, I'm not in the mood for it. So <laughs> am I going to have a soft DNF every week? Probably. I think I'll continue with it next week. We'll just have to wait and see. But I do feel like this is going to be a good book. I just don't want to read it this week. Okay, cool. A few moments later. <laughs> if we put those or if we put that clip on like the thumbnail it's gonna look like i'm screaming i discovered the audiobook for the vanishing half so i'm gonna read this now hopefully i can finish it by the end of the week because uh, 
end of the week by sunday just started um i'm around page 10 ish so not much to say as i've said before uh the blurb explains something completely different so yeah that was that was wild for me but the only reason why I soft DNF'd it earlier this week was because Game of Thrones was, it was a brick. I mean, it's 700, almost 800 pages. So I soft DNF'd that and I also didn't have an audiobook for The Vanishing Half. So I was just like, I don't have the brain capacity to read a book anyway. Well, I can read it while listening to the audiobook. I'm getting quite lazy with my books nowadays. If an audiobook doesn't accompany it... <laughs> I might not read it <laughs> or I might take my time reading it. It's a blessing and it's a curse to have fallen into the well of listening to audiobooks for fun. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna see how far I can get into this book right now. Maybe until part two. I think there's four parts, but I'm not sure where part two is. Oh, I think I found it. So page 82. If I can get to there during this sprint, if you want to call it, because my husband's getting pizza and then we have to go to collect my book. So, much to everyone's surprise, uh, I don't think you were surprised in any way, shape or form, but uh, I picked up The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. My bestie and I are doing a read-along as well as with another friend over on Instagram. I don't really know what The Familiar really is about. What I can gather from the first 10% that I read, it's about this girl who has magic, but is very frowned upon to have magic in this type of society and she's being blackmailed by the person she's working for. Again, the circumstances around it is unclear but the person who she's working for keeps on saying if you do the magic I will take care of you but if not I'll send you to the streets and it's I think it's just the the progress of Lucia going through everything figuring out her magic and everything because it sounds like she's not a very according to the description she's not a very attractive woman so there's not suitors lining up for her so now she's basically blending herself into the lower half of society where she can just work and try and get enough money to escape where she currently is I had to get my coffee I'm sorry I had this thing sitting there for a few minutes maybe like 30 minutes Ugh, coffee it sounds like it's going to be a very entertaining book I remember I read the description like a while ago my bestie and I were like yeah this sounds really good and then all of a sudden you know you if you read a lot of books you forget about it but anyway we was like going with this don't know what it's about but the setup is interesting i'm listening to the audiobook as well as on everhand and i'm very grateful for it because there's a lot of i think it's spanish just how they pronounce the things i'm not familiar with that language so it's quite refreshing to hear how it's actually supposed to be written because one of the the people's name is i think his name is marius and in Afrikaans or in English we would have pronounced this person's name as Marius. It's it's just it's very Afrikaans so yeah it's it's entertaining. I like it. I also don't like I think her name is Valentino. I should probably just check on my phone. It's kind of like the Baroness or something. Her name is Valentino and she is questionable at best. I don't even know how to describe her. I don't like her but my bestie says she she pities her and I'm just like you know i how can i explain this don't if you have a bad life don't take it out on other people like if you have shitty circumstances it's on you it's not on the people around you kind of thing and that's what she does you know she just takes it out on lucia the whole time and i'm just like all the people around her and it sounds like her husband's not also not very loving because in the the description of the first few chapters it says marius had a wife but then she died i think two three days after their wedding she stepped out onto the road and a carriage just 
it's not funny anyway so he married valentina okay my bad so he married her instead and the night of their wedding when they had to consummate the wedding he drank a lot of wine and when they consummated the marriage he puked all over <laughs> and I, I told my bestie and julia i was like it, it would be you know like a, a barfing honeymoon because i would throw up too and that's just horrible to be around those circumstances but at the same time again don't take it out on other people yes you are higher than other people but that doesn't mean you have to be shitty to other people thank you for coming to my ted talk anyway so yeah that is just how it goes i am taking it slow because I think Julia and Simone don't have the audiobook, so they're reading it physically. And they also have other books they're also reading, so that just kind of means that we, we're taking it slow. The chapters are fairly short and it's enjoyable. So we're reading five chapters a day. I'm on chapter six now, and I think I'll be continuing it later today. Hopefully the physical will be here this afternoon so I can go get it. I also bought another book which I'm super excited about. I received the ARC for this book and then it became the New York Times best-selling yeah, bestseller. And now I just want it on my shelves because I love that book so much. So yeah, anyway, can't wait for the second book. I'll show you guys when we get it. But I think for now, I'm just going to plan my video for today. Oh, I don't have the book yet. I'm fetching it today. Update on the familiar. I'm on 28-ish percent, almost 30 percent, and I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of giving me, what is the book where, I was thinking about it just now, it, it's a combination between Throne of Glass and Once Upon a Broken Heart, there we go, where it's just this girl who's like a low life, nothing, that sounds so mean, I mean just like she's She's a servant girl, she's a peasant girl, so she doesn't really have high rankings and how she climbs up the ladder or she tries to climb up the ladder with some special abilities she has. And in this case, Louisa has magical powers, but it's very uncontrolled powers, so she's just working with a rather noble man and his magical immortal being. I don't know what he is. I still don't know the premise of this book, but anyway, she's working with him to try and control her powers and everything. And it's very intriguing. I would like to see where it goes further. Uh, it has captured my attention. I'm not going to try and pronounce all the other characters' names because I will butcher them. <laughs> because they, they, they are like Spanish words, uh, names, I need to acquaint myself with them before, you know, I continue. So that is the update on The Familiar for now. I'm really enjoying it. Can't say much else. It is just, it is what it is. Uh, we are trying to read a bit more this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll finish it this weekend. Maybe not. With that being said, I think I'll see you guys when I have another update. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the end of the vlog. I'm just going to close it out. It's going to be a bit chaotic. As you can see, there's clothing behind me because it's gloomy again. The second one day that it's gloomy in april and they were predicting rain for this winter we don't get rain in gauteng supposedly in winter uh, but this is like the third year in gauteng that we've been getting rain in winter which is really weird but anyways i don't know if i'm excited for that i don't know they said this means that it's not going to be as cold i'm saying they i'm i'm talking about like um the weather experts <laughs> But anyway, they say it's not going to be as cold because it rains the whole time. So it's good for me because I hate the cold. But it's also bad because the ecosystem's changing and global warming and all that kind of thing. So yeah, anyway, just thought I'd put that out there. But on Saturday, you would have seen just a small clip of me reading. You know, that's basically all I did. I did went to get my nails redone. So that was fun. Uh, the girl, I don't know if you can see, it's nude and gold nude nude and gold the girl i went to she was amazing this is the first time i went to her and we started talking about books and then we couldn't shut up so yeah definitely going back to her and she's closer to me so anyway so saturday did my nails went to get gas for our gas heater came back home and read and watched tv and yesterday we went out to my parents so there was no reading done whatsoever and when we got home i was like i'm not gonna read so the only book i finished was a game of thrones and i really did enjoy this book even though i say it's a lot like the show it's just i've been finding myself thinking a lot about this book slash show the whole time and i talked to my dad yesterday and he was like no i really want to re-watch it and i'm like yeah 
I read it. I'm not going to rewatch it now. But just then, I don't know, that homey feeling of going back to characters you love, seeing the things you've missed. I, I'm just always upset about certain things that happen. And then I was for plot progression. I know why it has to happen. You know, but it's just sad for some of the characters to just go. Gave this a four star because it was really enjoyable. And then I made a good dent. I don't think I showed you. I got... Lee Bordugo's physical book finally on Friday. It took the delivery person three days from collecting it from the courier shop to dropping it off to the supermarket to get this. So I did get the familiar from Lee Bordugo and I'm on chapter 26 right now. I didn't make a big dent into it on Saturday because we were sitting, well, I was sitting in bed with the sun just shining pretty nice in my eye. So I did, I did listen to the audiobook most of the time, but I got very sleepy. <laughs> so after chapter 25, I was just like, you know, I'm going to put it down. So yeah, this is as far as I've gotten. It's very entertaining. I still stick to the point where I said it kind of feels like Throne of Glass mixed with the other book that I mentioned. But I am enjoying it. There's some characters like Lucia and... I think, what is his name? Oh goodness, I can't remember what his name is. Hello? Santana Hell. Sant I, I say it in such a white accent. Anyway, so yeah, they, their dynamic is very interesting and the way he's trying to push her and he reveals something about himself and I'm like, this still doesn't make sense as to what you are and who you are and why you are immortal and everything is just, there's a lot of questions around here. And yeah, I can't say a lot about this book actually because I feel like the more I talk about it, the more spoilers I give. So I'm just saying it's very enjoyable. It's different from Lee Bordugo's other works, but it is enjoyable. So, And then I made a pretty good dent in The Vanishing Half. I got like a special on Audible because I was looking for this audio. On Friday I mentioned, oh yeah, I got the audio. No, it was just the first chapter. <laughs> So I'm on chapter, is it five right now? I think it's five. Let me just quickly check. Or oh, it's six. Hmm. <laughs> it, it's either five or six. So it's a good dent in the book. It's, I'm, I'm like a, the third of a book in it. And I really just thought so far it was going to be following Desiree and it was going to be following Stella. And Stella right now is a big mystery. We only know about her past and why she decided to leave with Desiree. 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 She left with Desiree. Desiree can't figure out where she is, but it sounds like Stella enjoys the idea because she's very light-skinned that she is now a white person. Well, Desiree, you know, she married a black man and she has a daughter that they keep calling, or they, they said she's kind of blue-black, so... It's, it's entertaining. It's interesting to read about a new perspective and it's interesting to see the different dynamics in a different type of country and different kind of races and it's fun. I am enjoying it. The first, the start of this book was really slow to me because the, each chapter is like 30 pages and it just kept talking about the girls who have been missing and one of them has been seen and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> sounds really boring. And then one of the character's husbands is on the hunt for her. He's a very abusive husband, so she left him. And now he's looking for her. And turns out there is even more interesting things in this because the person who was hired to look for her knows Desiree and he's trying to help her. And it's been 10 years now and her husband hasn't been searching for her. And I'm just like, this is very suspicious. Is he going to pop back up or was that just one of the conflicts? Is there even going to be a conflict? Are we just going to move through the motion? Is it actually about Stella and Desiree just wanting to know where Stella is? Because Desiree doesn't know where her sister is. Her sister just up and left and... Her mom keeps telling her just leave her be because she didn't she doesn't want to be found. They they have the saying where she they say she's acting white, so just leave her. And yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Really, I don't I have no predictions. I have a feeling Desiree's husband was going to find her, but it's been ten years. You would think he would eventually be like, okay, whatever. Unless he's been holding a grudge for like ten years and whatever she did was coming back to bite her. 
very badly. Hopefully I'll finish it this week coming and then you'll see me rant arrive probably a bit more about the next two books. So I have to finish this is heavy. I have to finish these two books for the next week and then I'll probably read another book as well. I don't know. I'll see what's on the list and then we can carry on from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know down below if you are still, if you are participating in this readathon or I don't know, how was your week? And I'll see you guys in a video next week. I don't know, I just almost broke my neck, but anyway, um, bye. <laughs>